Okay, what you're getting today is day off, Jamie. Sitting in the backyard, drinking a beer, playing some harps. I'll just give you a gander. The backyard, it's everything's super green from all the rain we've been getting and very peaceful. The birds are singing. We got Mr. Peckles. What are you doing? Got Magoo over there. London's roaming about somewhere. But just doing a bit of backyard playing. Got some new harps. This one here is my take on a big... Well, hello, Mr. McGill. Have you treated a squirrel? Good job. <laughs> this is my take on a beginner harp. It had the .015. It's really breaking in nicely, and I think I'm going to make some more of these. They're not, they're not highly decorated harps. Just simple. No artistic filings. Bent trigger. Might make some more with uh, loop triggers, but .015. This is a very comfortable harp. I, I was kind of off put by the strange tone it had at first but that tone is gradually going away and it's really breaking in give it a listen it's got a medium loud sound and you can almost not miss strike on this harp i think it'd be a good deal for for beginners because it doesn't require the precision some of my other more sensitive harps do Not as sensitive as some of my other harps, but I think this is going to be a, a very decent beginner harp because not only am I maintaining very tight, even gaps, not quite as tight as some of my other harps, but very tight, even gaps, and, and that bird is really going off, and it doesn't require preci precision. This harp, I, I'll strike downward, I'll strike upward, it's hard to get it to click. If I strike almost straight down, I can get it to click. But other than that, super forgiving harp. We have my take on the mid-range. I'm going to keep this in the same price range as the Machine Duck. Got some, oh, some artistic filings going on. Nice even gaps. And this this is another one. I'm, I'm keeping this one for myself. It's a prototype, so... Oh man, that bird's really going off. He's not appreciating having Mr. Pickles in the backyard with us. Every time I bring the cat in the backyard, birds will perch above him and be squawking at him. Here, this harp. I'm excited about this harp. This is very, very ornamental, very decorated. You know, it's covered in coconut oil. I'll wipe a little bit of that off. But very, very pretty harp. Check it out. Even tight gaps. Oblong loop trigger. Very decorated, very fancy. Oh wait, that's what that's what be squawking. Let's, let's take a gander here. We got a squirrel. Well, hello, Mr. Squirrel. Oh. And then birds are there are upset at him. Wonder if he's near their nest. Squirrel, you landed on the wrong tree. Back over here, I was about ready to play a decorated harp. And then birds, they just gonna keep squawking. And this long, thinner reed, it has a nice sort of bouncy consistency to it and it doesn't require a whole bunch of pressure, but does require a whole bunch of precision.
Oh, I like, I like the way this heart plays. Very outer spacey, kind of mystic sounding. I really like the consistency of the trigger. I think I'm gonna have to make more of these. And the look of them, they're gonna be higher in price because I've spent a lot of time working the metal out to get it to look like that. Well, that's gonna be it. Like, share, and subscribe for more Harpery. Harp out.